Now for the background image on that header area. This is also not layout, it's just the look of the thing, not necessarily moving it around anywhere. So I'm going to put it right here. Background, um, I'll, maybe I'll use the background shortcut. Uh, go back into the images folder and let's pick up that mountain range. It's not repeating. I don't think there's anything special going on with it otherwise. And let's set the background size to cover. Save. Try that out in Chrome. Refresh. Um, so that's going like this. That's looking nice. Is that the behavior that we're seeing in the PDF? Yeah, pretty well. It looks similar, so I think similar enough to call it good. Um, now there's a couple birds on here, and um, I don't know if we have a place for them in the header, um, but we certainly could make a tag for them if we needed to. If if these are supposed to be absolutely absolutely positioned, so there's a couple different ways you could do this. So I know we're supposed to be practicing absolute positioning, so I'm going to do it that way because they're supposed to stay here as the background image moves, but I would honestly not make them, um, I would not make them absolutely positioned image tags. Um, I would just put them as background images um, because you can use multiple background images and each background image can have its own positioning. So um, yeah, that's kind of how I would do it. But I'm going to show you absolute positioning because I think that's what we're supposed to be practicing this week. I just think it would be a little bit clunky in this case. There's not really a necess it's not really necessary. So if you were going to use absolute positioning, you would actually put the images in here. Um, let's take a look at what that would look like. It's a little hard to justify this because they don't really have any alt text. Yeah, I don't know. Alt bird. Um, do it again. Bird two. This is really, they're really stylistic, so they shouldn't really be content imagery in here. I am um, really resisting doing it this way, as you can tell. <laughs> Refresh. So that's what they, where they are. To make these absolutely, we could absolutely position these things. Um, yeah, that would be possible. I'll do it one way, and then I'm going to comment it out and show you the other way. Uh, so, and they, they also need to be sized a bit, a bit smaller than they currently are. So um, let's see that. How big exactly? I don't know. I think I might eyeball it um, because we don't really have, we have a little bit of a ability to know, but um, like they started around 150 and this one ends at around 250. So they're like a hundred pixels wide each say, just to make it easy, let's call it a hundred. So let's say for things in the header that are images, header IMG, the width is going to be 100 px. Save and refresh. Bang. So now they're the right size. Now we need to get them into the right place. Where exactly are they? Let's have a quick look in the result. So it looks like they start at around 150-ish. This one starts at 150. This one starts at, say, 200-ish. This one's Y value is, mm, I'm going to call that 75. And this one is um, more like 100. So 75 and 100 for Y values and 150 and 190, 150 and 190 for X values. Okay, so in order to tell these apart, I would have to um, add additional information to them, like ID, bird1, for example. So that I can style them separately from each other, but some of them, some pieces of them are the same. So they're both position, absolute, because they're not supposed to move. And uh, that's about all I can say about it, I guess. I'll leave the additional header information for a minute. So number say in the header, actually it doesn't really matter, but if I don't really have to put header here because I'm dealing with an ID now, but just so that we can see easily in the CSS um, that this, we're talking about something in the header, it might be helpful to have header there just for programmer sanity. Um, at, uh, top is 75px. 
and left is, I think I said 150 px. And now we'll do the bird two, header bird two. That top one was more like um, 100 px, I think I said. And I'm forgetting all my numbers. This was more like 190. Let's see how I did. Yeah, okay, that's that's looking pretty good. So they stay where they are as the image moves around. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how I would do this with background images because I think that would be the more appropriate method.